Hey guys, here's the new project. I thought it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna go step by step uh, pretty much and show you guys how to make it. Hope you enjoy. Come on, it'll be fun. Wood that I've used on the back. I'm just holding these two pieces together. Um, now I'm gonna paint it uh, with a couple coats of uh, gray and then we're gonna distress that and then white. And now it's gray. All right, now I'm just doing a uh, quick coat of white here, nothing fancy, just some paint I had lying around. And the wood is from a free palette. And it's white. The next thing we wanna do is pick out your favorite um, jar, okay? I think it's better to find one with some of the raised uh, letters. And so that way when you sand it, it can look like this. All right, so the, the you can see the letters and whatever else is on there, made in the USA, uh, some of the details on it, it could just kind of stand out on your uh, on your piece. So um, I didn't show you guys this, but you just got to paint this. I used a little bit of chalk paint that I had laying around, but I used a regular brush and uh, I just kind of used this stick to hold it up while I turned it and painted it. And, and then I distressed it with a little bit of sandpaper. It's perfect. Now, let's do some sanding. Next thing we're gonna do is take this hose clamp and put it on your jar at the bottom of it here like this. And you can position this wherever you want it. But basically, just get it on there like you want it, where you want it, and uh, then just make a mark uh, with a marker on the back side as to uh, on, on the band where you want that. Bring it around to the front side so you can see. And then uh, then you can, uh, I'm gonna screw it to the back is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna just make a little hole. Oops, be careful. Well, this isn't working. Anyways, as I was saying, make your little hole. Just make a little mark and pre-drill through. So, then undo your band. Go to that same mark. And uh, then uh, ah, I'm gonna have to speed up the video. I am talking too slow. Sometimes I actually like to talk like a chipmunk. It's kind of fun. All right, put your screw in there. Get it in that hole you drilled. I'm using a nut to hold it away. Drive it in. Snug it up. Make it square. Turn it, turn it straight to your piece. Put your jar in. Yeah, actually, just get it started here. Hold still. All right, got it started. Put it in. That looks great. Let's see. Tighten it up. And uh, I don't have to get it real tight here, but uh, look at that. Isn't that great? Okay, I'm tired of talking in this fast voice. Um, so now I'm going to transfer these letters onto here and uh, make some lines that I can paint in. You can take lead and put it on the back side of these pieces of paper. You can do that with any paper image. And uh, you could use carbon copy paper to do the same thing. It would probably be easier, but I just don't have any. So uh, I'll do the rest of these. <laughs> And then I'm just going to take a ballpoint pen and I'm going to trace around one of the letters. I'll show you how it works. And show you how the image has been 
transfer it on there. This heart I just traced, but these letters I went over with the ballpoint pen. And they are a little faint, but it's enough to be able to, to see them. Time to paint the letters. Now we're going to sand the paint a little bit. The kind of paint that I used for this project is from Walmart. And this is uh, two ounces, kind of in a little plastic bottle, and it's 50 cents each. And then I'm also going to use this, even though you can make it yourself. I just got it. Um, this has a matte finish on it, Mod Podge. These are about $5, and you can do several projects with these. Alright, so now for the fun part. I'm going to take this uh, jute twine here, and I want to outline the heart with it, and then also the top of this jar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my very manly hot glue gun. Wow. Thank my wife for this little thing. This part's probably the most tedious, but uh, if you lay it in there right, it'll look good. Okay, now we're going to wrap it around the entire top of this. And I'd like to thank my wife for supplying this wonderful pink hot glue gun. Thank you. All right, and here's our finished product. Um, I went ahead and filled this hard in all the way. I thought that that looked better. And then I did coat it with Mod Podge as well as the twine that's wrapped around the bottom of this jar. Um, I'm sorry about the flowers. They are not the best looking flowers. Um, but again, that's something you guys can get creative on. Um, I just grabbed something that was laying around. No, they're not mine. So don't be thinking that I have these flowers laying around. I don't. Anyways, so that's it. That's that. Um, I thought it turned out all right. And, uh, Anyways, I hope this gives you guys some ideas and uh, you can do some of these projects yourself. Thanks a lot. And thanks for watching. See ya.